Hi, I'm Dan from DrinkYourWine.com. I'm here today in Prosser with Gordon Taylor of uh, Davenport Winery. Um, you have a really kind of unusual name for the winery here, as well as the logo is very unique. You want, you want to talk a little bit about that, Gordon? Sure. Um, essentially, Davenport is a combination of both my wife's last name Davenport and my last name Taylor. So we've combined the name and made it Davenport. And the logo, as you can see, um, is we call them Petro. Petro stands for Petroglyph of a Coyote, and we were telling uh, some people about the coyotes that came out of the hills and eat our grapes in our small vineyard off to the side of the winery. And, uh, well, the concept was born. Yeah, I think it's very cool with the, the color of the grapes. It's almost heart-shaped, in fact. And then the... Uh, it's like the wine in the belly. The wine too. in the belly. Yeah, yeah. And the red, uh, the red represents the red wines that we make, and the green represents a sure. green belly and the green grapes. Sure. And then yeah. the space between the legs looks like a wine bottle. It absolutely. Is. <laughs> That's way cool. Well, we need to give a shout out to Joan, your wife, Doctor Dirt. Doctor Dirt. Uh, Joan's <laughs> a soil scientist at for Washington State University, and uh, she works up at the research station inside of Prosser. She works in both juice grapes and wine grapes, so. Uh, it's sort of a good combination. I do the processing side and the winemaking, and she does the, uh, you know, handles the soils and growing the grapes. Well, this is a very small hands-on operation here, family-owned. Uh, they do all the labeling by hand, filling by hand, uh, bottling by hand, casing by hand, fingerprints all over the wine here. You want to tell us a little bit about that, Gordon? Well, we are finished with bottling uh, for our spring release, which we have uh, five different bottles here that I have on display, but after bottling comes labeling and foil spinning and waxing. And so that's um, to make sure that everybody gets uh, the wine that they need uh, and they want, then we have to make sure that it's labeled appropriately. We do it here by hand. Uh, sometimes we use a machine, but uh, oftentimes it's just hand labor and that's a hands-on winery. That's basically what we are. Yeah, and this, this little machine over there behind you, which I'm zooming in on right here, that's the six head filler. Uh, and those are all fed in there by hand as well. Uh, right here we have the, uh, the, uh, the waxing uh, pot there where they actually uh, uh, do with the uh, it's melted wax there for the port. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very cool. <laughs> and then, uh, then we have foil spinning over here. All right, there you go. And, uh, and then hand labeling, uh, just to get the job done, we can. We can use a machine, but uh, oftentimes uh, wineries work together in this, uh, this part of the country. And uh, we often trade equipment back and forth. So, you know, sometimes I lend out my, my bottle filler and other times I have to borrow with somebody's labeler. So it helps, uh, it helps to keep everybody in touch with uh, all the different wineries. Okay, now Gordon's going to show us a little bit about how they actually do the waxing on the bottle here for the, for the port. We like, to, uh, we like to have our, our bottles waxed so that they have a little point to the top. So you go into the angle, drain off the excess wax, spin it 180 degrees, let it drip one more time, stand it up, give it a little bit of a spin, and cool it off in the water. And that uh, hardens the outside of the wax. The, the inside is still warm, but it gives it a nice gloss look and gives you that, uh, that texture in the front. Very with cool. The, with the point. Well, Gordon, this is I drink your wine .com here, so uh, maybe I drink a little wine. I'm, I'm all for that. <laughs> okay. You know, what type of business would we be in if, if we didn't have anything to drink? <laughs> That's right, yeah. First, let's, uh, we have quite a lineup of different wines that we did in our spring release, but uh, we'll talk about two of the main ones. Okay. Uh, one being the Syrah Forte, which is a port style wine uh, made from Syrah grapes from the newest ABA, Snipes Mountain. Wow. Uh, it's the 10th ABA in Washington State. Okay. And we're doing a barrel sample here. This is a 2008. Wow. Nice and rich color. Well, I guess so. Holy moly. Hmm. So this is a Syrah based port then? Cor correct. And uh, a very special location up on Snacks Mountain. And you have the. Uh, it should. Uh, you you yeah. smelled it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it should uh, give you an idea of raspberry on steroids. 
<laughs> yeah, it does. And the, and the color is like that as well, too. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm a pork fan anyway. And I just, boy, the more I drink it, the more I like it. <laughs> we love our pork. <laughs> Imagine that. And also our lineup, and we'll talk a little bit about our Durif, which is a, uh, also known as Petite Syrah. It's got a little bit of uh, Malbec and uh, Petite Verdot in it. And uh, we chose to call it Drif rather than Petite Syrah after the founder uh, that uh, made the varietal selection, which is uh, uh, Francois Drif from uh, the Montpellier region of France uh, back in 1880. But there's nothing petite about uh, <laughs> this, this wine. It's awfully big. Okay, right? well, good. Yeah, I do. I do. You want to waste that pork on it? Barrel pork's nice. <laughs> Ooh, As yeah. you can see, this is oh. also very dark, uh, purpley, uh, very similar or very similar to uh, Syrah. And, uh, mm, well, that's, a, that's a big one, all right. Nice. Yeah. Mm. The color, the, the texture, you know, lots of tannins. I had to, I used a little bit of, uh, as I said, uh, Melbeck and Petit Verdot, about 6% of each. Um, to round out the flavors. It's very yeah, nice. That's very nice. Nice long finish, great mouthfeel. Mm, yeah, good job. Very berry, uh, yeah. dark fruit. Dark fruit, yeah, and lots of it. Boy, that's, that's good. Yeah. I'm really liking that. Good. The more, more I drink it, the more I like it. <laughs> <laughs> to continue on some of the other things that we do, we do a, a limited amount of Riesling. Uh, it's dry. The rose, this is the first year for our rose. It uh, is a combination of uh, Melbeck, Petit Verdot, uh, Mouved, and Cabernet Rosé. So I tried uh, four different rosés and then I blended them together. Recovery red because we're not in a recession, we're in a recovery. Let's <laughs> uh, think positive here. Yeah, I, re I refuse to participate in a recession. <laughs> uh, I agree with that. And then uh, and we already talked about the Derif and uh, the Syrah Forte yeah. from Snipes Mountain. The Derif is a Horse Heaven Hills. I forgot to mention that. Right, yeah, you're, you're right here in the Horse Heaven Hills too. Very close. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, very, very nice. This is uh, why I'm really like it again. Thanks for having me out here. It's, it's always a pleasure to sample your new releases and uh, and the port is always it's, it's a pleasure. Well, thanks for coming out, Dan. Again, I'm Dan from MyDrinkYourWine.com, and remember, if you're buying, I'm drinking. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Life is good, huh? Life is good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm.